do you think it's fat shaming the way they present things? Because I actually do. I think they, they are demeaned. People are demeaned for being big. Yeah, but it's a reality show, Dr. Drew. They're being no, paid I, no, to be I get on it. There. Just... So don't be on there if you don't want to be sh fat shamed. People know now, and how many seasons has this been going on, that they're going to go on, that they're going to go through a boot camp. And look, let's well, but, it. but hang on. That's not the question. The question is, is it appropriate for it to be a reality show? The question is, is it, is it fat shame? Because it's under the umbrella of being health you know health advocate it's pushing health yeah uh, guess what it's not healthy to be ob to be obese it's not but are they shaming these people Vanessa yes. you seem to think they are I think they are no. Dr. Drew but it's a hugely popular show and they no, make hundred million dollars in advertising and people are watching it so well, what does the that question say about is though is it, is it is it is it does the net effect good or bad Vanessa if it's shaming people who are overweight which is a lot of us I'm not sure that's good if it's giving unrealistic goals or unrealistic messages about how people need to lose weight and get in shape i'm not sure that's good what do you say i think if you're going to if you want to lose weight you should expect to go through rigorous things to get there especially when you are severely overweight you're gonna pass out if you're doing five miles at all and you're speeding down a track or you're doing exercises that you've never done before look it's gonna be tough and yes there is a little bit of shaming in this because we do shaming in not just when someone's overweight. We shame people when they don't look a certain way or don't act a certain way. That's one of the things that well, people seem listen. to do to get the results I, I, that they want. Sam, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not saying it's okay. What I, I'm listen, saying is that's what you sign up for. We, we, and at the end of the day, walk away if you're nobody, not nobody we ostracize more powerfully in our Thank culture you. than overweight people. We really have, and, and it has been changing in recent years, yeah, I, but think, I think. But, it, you know, really have, but listen, here's my question. I, I, from the beginning when I watched this show, and, and I'm not... I'm not going to get super critical about the show because I understand they're trying to do something positive. But from the beginning, I would look at some of these people and go, oh, that guy's an alcoholic. Why aren't they dealing with that? And oh, that guy's a, that woman is a trauma survivor. TV, and the, and the bigness, the, the, what they do with their body is to keep people away. It's what people do yeah. sometimes when they're trauma survivors. And it's not being addressed. It's not being talked about. And the research shows clearly one of the most significant risk factors for obesity is childhood trauma. And that's not addressed anywhere. And that drives me crazy Sam and not only that dr. Drew okay did you see the episode where they were lined up in these these like horse uh, stalls? Bar stalls and they had to go run down the racetrack like like horses Ooh, to pick stop, up the stop here's somebody says a, t a Twitter uh, follower says a friend of mine was on the show it changed her life for the better okay, okay so the see. it'd be great if they had some published data too but go yeah, ahead Sam tell but, us about this. okay so that to me felt very demeaning and just the fact and I know that it's like they say losers because they're losing the weight but then they call each other losers and to me it's just it's cringeworthy and the fact that to blame these people to go on the show they don't know it's a big fat carrot that's dangling in front of their 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 head oh come on the show you'll lose weight you'll get some um, uh, 15 minutes of fame they don't understand that they're gonna be working out five to eight hours I don't a day that. Sam? Five to eight hours a day, Leanne? That's insane. But, come but, on. Come that's on. Not We're talking healthy. about a reality show, Sam, where 200,000 people turned in their resume trying to get on this show. You know it's reality TV. It you watch the show. It's you know okay. they're trying to lose 150 you can, pounds or you in can a few walk weeks. Away come in the middle. on.